it's Mile. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about my favorite high-end highlighters. So I recently did my top five drugstore highlights and I will link it down below. So I decided to do my high-end favorites. However, I really tried really hard to narrow it down to five and I could not. I have five powders, two liquids, and one honorable mention with a semi-dupe in case you can't find that one. So I guess two honorable mentions. I'm gonna talk about the liquid highlighters first and then we're gonna go into powders. The first one I'm gonna talk about is my Josie Marin Argan Illuminizer. I absolutely love this thing. I'm actually wearing it today under my makeup as a primer. It's so beautiful, it gives such a healthy glow to the skin. What, literally, I think this is the most beautiful liquid highlight I own. They recently changed the packaging on this and I think it's the same price but you get 0.5 ounces but the packaging is prettier. Some of you guys may have heard me rant about how I'd rather have more products, but anyway. It reminds me like a little lighter version of Opal. It's beigey warm and has like that beautiful like gold sheen to it, but I like this one more. I don't really use this on the cheekbones, even though I've seen people use it and it looks beautiful. Um, but I just like this as a, like, I just love the glow that it gives the skin when you mix it with foundation or when you add it as a primer, so... It's really, this is like the most beautiful liquid illuminizer in the planet. Next we have Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. So this has beautiful sleek packaging. The consistency of this one is a little bit more like lotion-y. It's a little bit thinner than the Josie Marin one. Um, and as you guys can see that gorgeous glow that it gives. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. So I like mixing this with foundation or wearing it as a primer as well. That's generally how I use my liquid illuminizer like it's a softer sheen a softer glow than the Josie Marin one the Josie Marin one looks very intense and very frosty on the face I guess you could say once you first apply it so this one's just a softer glow so for my powdered highlights I'm gonna start with the more natural ones the first one is my Laura Mercier matte radiance baked powder in highlight 01 it's a very white vanilla kind of highlight. This just gives more of a natural glow to the skin. It makes you look like really highlighted and really glowy but it's not like that wet look, at least I don't think so. This is one that I did not expect to love as much as I do and I highly highly recommend it. Next is my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and this is in Luminous Light. This is so beautiful as well. It's very similar to the um, Laura Mercier in the sense that it's very light very soft, very finely milled, and it looks very natural on the skin. As many would say, a lit from within kind of glow. As you can see, you really can't see it like ba bam but it gives such a beautiful sheen and glow to the skin. It just looks like a natural radiance, and I love this. I feel like this is the perfect highlight for brides or for like classy events, but definitely for brides. I feel like these two, the Laura Mercier one as well, are beautiful bridal kind of highlights. This one is definitely a little bit less intense than the Laura Mercier one. I love these powders because I feel like you can use them as highlights, but you can also use them as face powders. My skin is generally oily, but it goes through like its ups and downs. So on occasions when my skin is really dry, I will use this to set my face. And I feel like it gives such life back into the skin and such beautiful beautiful radiance this is the mary luminizer highlighter and you can also use this as eyeshadow this is a beautiful highlight they're all absolutely beautiful so it's a very champagne gold kind of highlight it is very pigmented very intense this is that type of highlight that's going to give you that like wet look on the skin and it definitely reflects a lot of gold. I think that this was my first high-end highlight. Because these are like $20, um, but I buy mine at Hope Look. And Hope Look always has these for 10 bucks. So a little bit goes a heck of a long way. You can really quickly overdo it with this powder. The texture of the powders of these kind of remind me of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the powder forms. It has that same kind of soft, velvety feel to it. So yeah, beautiful pale gold champagne, love it. So the next two highlights have been like ride or die status, like I absolutely love them. But the one that I'm wearing today is the Becca and Jaclyn Hill collaboration and this is the Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. You guys, this is stunning. 
as much as I love Moonstone, as much as I love Opal, there is no shade that compares to this shade right here. I really wish that they would make this one permanent because it definitely deserves to be permanent. I have reached for this one more than I have ever reached for Opal and Moonstone. Do you guys see like the rim of the pan? Is it just me? But I can totally see that. I'm about to hit pan on this baby. That's how hard I've gone on this. Like so many different skin tones can rock this and I love that Jacqueline did this I love that she created a shade that as a makeup artist she knew would like be good for everybody because a lot of people struggle to find their perfect highlight or their perfect shade in anything really this is a beautiful beautiful peachy gold highlight so you guys can see how it looks on the skin you barely need anything and it gives you that intense highlighted look a little bit goes a long way with every becca um product and like the rest of the becca powders this is just the amazing soft creamy formula that just kind of blends into your skin when you do rub your finger in this it does get a little bit powdery and it can get a little crumbly like as you place it but then you can blend it really nicely and it just looks beautiful it is limited edition i have a backup i suggest you go get one if you can if this is in your budget right now i definitely definitely highly 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 recommend this baby so good i've never almost hit pan on a highlight i love this next is my baby i love this you guys have heard me talk about this numerous times this is the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Gilded Honey. Oh my word. Oh my, do you do you do you see this? Like how? How is this possible? This is a straight up gold highlight. Straight up gold, straight up intense, straight up perfect. I have backup of this too. It looks really tiny, but it has close to the same amount of product as a NARS blush would have um, but NARS blushes I think are like 30 and this is 26 I think it is very intense very wet very in your face it feels so silky smooth because it is like baked so it just melts into the skin this is one that I definitely highly recommend and a little bit goes a long way with all of these products but definitely with this one as well I have gone ham on this like you guys can tell that I just like use the crap out of this and I haven't made a dent. So my next two products are honorable mentions and they're kind of dupes depending on how you used it. The one that I have been using non-freaking stop since I bought this. I went to Orlando in the beginning of August and I for the first time went into a CCO and I found this. I have been looking for this everywhere. And it is a limited edition product from Bobbi Brown. This is their Shimmer Brick in Apricot. I did not own any Shimmer Brick until this one. And honestly, out of all of them, this is the one that I wanted, that I felt like I needed. And I didn't know about it until after it was already sold out. You can check your local CCO. I think I paid $30 for this. And I think they're generally like $45, $44. So it's a beautiful like apricot, kind of peachy gold highlight. The formula of this is nice. It's also a baked product, so it blends nicely into the skin, but I do feel like out of all the other ones I own, this is the one that takes a little bit more work to blend. It's a gorgeous shade, and I love the shade so much, but I love the formula of like the Laura Geller one or the Becca ones a little bit more than I love the formula of this. I'm not saying that it's a bad formula because it's not. I'm just saying that there are other formulas that I like a little bit more. This looks really similar to the Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Highlight, but it is a little bit different. This has more of an intense peachy apricot kind of undertone, while the Becca Champagne Pop has a little bit more of a golden undertone. One that I loved before buying this one was from NARS, and this is the NARS Dual Intensity Blushes. But this I use as a highlight. This is in Jubilation, but it's a nice like peachy beige kind of warm highlight and then you have a nice gold here. I love it because you can custom create your shade. You can have a gold with a slight peach undertone, a peach with a slight gold, a more intense. You can kind of create the shade that you want. So in blending these together, I like created the Bobbi Brown shade. Yeah, these are my two honorable mentions. I love these and I mentioned both of them because they kind of dupe out a little bit. This is the beige. The gold and then this is both of them swirled together so just to show you how they kind of resemble each other 
This is the NARS Dual Intensity Blush in Jubilation. Pretty similar. They're not 100% dupes, but you can get it close enough. It's kind of like the same price if you were to pay full price for both of these. So that's why I wanted to mention it in case you guys can't find the shade, but I love both of these so much. So we have finally reached the end of this video. I love all of these products so much i feel like they're such great quality products and they're definitely worth the splurge i mean you don't have to buy all of these but maybe this will help you pick like your favorite one or that one shade that you know you have to have i would love to know what your favorite high-end highlights are not that i need any more but maybe i can try them out and fall in love all over again with more products so i hope this was helpful as always i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video Bye.